is going on guys it is a fine fine super fine day here and i don't know where i'm at i live in southwest pa i just went to central pa i don't know where i'm at i'm somewhere in the middle headed home doing a long journey i figured hey while i'm out riding around i might as well record some more videos and in today's episode what i would like to talk to you about is why the ninja 650 specifically is such a fantastic commuting bike uh because it is because it really is it is a fantastic commuting bike and i use it for a touring bike and a commuting bike it's actually my only source of transportation so uh i put 17,000 miles on this thing in you know a season and a half well no this is my second season yeah it's my second season so you know decent amount of time on it uh so i think i can uh give a little bit of information about it uh and why it is and the first reason why this bike is such a great commuting bike is because of its size and by size we can branch off we'll talk about engine displacement and just overall size of the bike but because the bike is a smaller bike it's a 650 it's a parallel twin motorcycle it is lighter and that can be really really nice for people who commute in heavy traffic slow moving traffic like cities and certain urbanizations because we also got to remember that the word commuting is a very broad term i mean some people commute for hours on interstates going to work which is insane if you're one of those people let me know in the comments because that is crazy or you commute 20 minutes to work or half hour to work or five minutes down the road so with the size of the bike it being light it's a very nice, light, easy bike to kind of just maneuver around in tight traffic. Like if you're doing a lot of stop and go traffic, it's a nice bike because it's just so light and you don't have to worry about, you know, pulling a, a, a massive or balancing rather a massive motorcycle. You don't have to do that with the bike. I think this bike weighs 425, somewhere in that range wet so that is extremely light i had a demo day and got to ride an indian pursuit and that thing was 960 something like that that's a big bike that would not be a very fun commuter bike even though it is a very fun bike to ride it wouldn't really be a fun commuter bike especially at least in my commuting situation what i do uh it just would not work now the second thing about size, the size of the engine, is this bike has enough power to do literally everything. If you ride small city traffic, it is not too powerful to where you're not going to get out of like second gear right it's not one of those bikes where you can only like wind it up and down in first gear because it got too much power that's not this motorcycle at all if you ride the interstates or the bypass or anything like that the bike definitely has enough power to uh so the ninja 650 is a great commuter bike <coughs> in the sense because it has such a wide range of usable power because again it's light it's nice and easy to move around in tight quarters and tight cities uh it's not too powerful where you won't get it out of first gear you just be winding it up and down but it's got enough power to ride that comfortably but then also for you to be able to ride the interstates comfortably it's got so much passing power it's insane like this is like the best freaking motorcycle i love this bike it's such a fantastic freaking bike uh another reason why this bike is such a fantastic commuter bike is because of the comfort it's us dude it's such a freaking comfortable bike i've been on it now for about five hours 
and I am sore. I'm not gonna say, oh, I'm not sore at all. Yeah, the bottom of my tailbone's a little sore. My feet are a little sore, just kind of being crunched up. But that's five hours. I mean, that's that's five hours. You gotta accept it for what it is. And you know, this is an intro to touring bike. It's not. It's not a Versys 1000. It's not that Indian Pursuit. It's not a bagger. It's it's an intro to touring bike. The bike after this is a Ninja 1000 SX. I would love to get that. I'm very torn between that and the Versys 1000. Actually, I don't know which direction I'm going to go, but it's a very comfortable bike, and that's really nice whenever you are commuting. You know, because it, when you're when you're commuting, it's you, you want to be comfortable, man. You, you want to be comfortable. You don't want everything to be vibrating. You don't want to be sore before you go to work, especially if you're one of those people that drive a very, very long distance for work. You, you, you definitely don't want to be exhausted before you get to work because if you're commuting that far for work, you probably got a really good job and it's probably a really hard job let's just be honest so the last thing you want to do is be tired because of a uh, uncomfortable commute and tiredness also kind of goes with like just vibration and how the bike handles in general yes it's a parallel twin yes it's a little vibrating but it's not anything that's going to be an issue up until like three hours and I really don't expect somebody to be riding for for three hours to go to work. I mean, is it possible? I guess, sure. Uh, actually, I almost accepted a job that was five hours away, but that was a weird situation. I would go there, uh, work for three weeks, and then come back for two weeks. It wasn't the gas well. Oh, no, 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 yeah, it was geology gas. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I didn't get the job. Or rather, I didn't accept the job because it had horrible turnover rate turnover turnover rate was like in the 90 percent which i was like oh, no, no 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 i'm gonna say where i'm at cutting me being a loser oh my goodness uh another reason why this bike is such a good commuter bike kind of goes with the comfortability is because it's like because of the power because of the usable torque because of everything it is a very easy motorcycle to ride around like it's a very easy bike to manipulate to work like you don't have to use uh, a lot of uh, you know power to kind of get the bike to do what it wants to do and you know at the end of the day I rode that pursuit and I realized even with heavy bikes it doesn't take a lot but with the Indian pursuit and I'm sorry I keep comparing it it's just like the last big bike I rode it's like, uh, it's a big bike, and while it doesn't always feel like a big bike, you still know you're on a big motorcycle. And it does get a little bit much kind of, you know, chilling with the thing, especially if you got starts and stops and hills and things like that. It might be, uh, you know, it might be a little, uh, a little bit much. So the bike is just a great bike as far as that goes because it's very easy to it's very easy to move around and I think that's a uh, I think that's a pretty big deal. The other big deal that is great about this bike if you're commuting is the fuel range. Right now I'm averaging uh, 64 miles to the gallon, chilling in six gear at 60 mile an hour at a little over 4,000 rpms i could probably be in fifth gear that drops down well that's like a, a weird weird thing but yeah about 61 miles to the gallon that's really freaking nice if you're commuting because you know if you're commuting gas is going to be important and that is something that's pretty cheap on this bike this big trip that I did, well it was a big trip, this longer trip that I did is gonna be, it's gonna be about six, seven hours by the time it's done. I spent $20 in gas in that allotted time. And that's not bad at all. And speaking of saving money, the Ninja 650 is also a great bike in general for beginners, commuters, whatever, broke people, because it's cheap on insurance. 
it's a cheap motorcycle as far as insurance goes. I think my insurance is like 60 something dollars a month. I doubled up on it and I paid my whole year's thing off in half a year. So now I'm chilling until February. And it didn't break the bank at all. Gas is good, insurance is good, my payments are good. That's another story. I mean, MSRP, well, when I bought the bike, MSRP was like 8,000. Now it's like uh, 8588, which is insane. It jumped up that much. But, you know, that's that's kind of the unfortunate, unfortunate reality of it. Uh, let's see, is there any other, is there any other good things about this bike that make it a great commuter bike uh yeah because it is a, technically a touring bike and you're in a, a, such an upright body position i don't know if i covered that you're in such an upright body position um you're just comfortable i i i meant to talk about this and i was talking about the comfort of the bike so going back to the comfort of the bike real quick it's an upright bike you're not down it's got raises while well, it's got the the more higher up handlebars the foot pegs are right below you. It's not like a 636 where you're like this the whole time, straining your abdominal, abdominal. Sorry, I'm looking at rocks. Um, trying to keep your body up, right? It's it's not like that. It's a super upright, relaxed uh, body body position make sure we are still indeed recording and we are still indeed recording and there was something else oh this sucks i hate that i uh i just forget things all the time what was the other thing that i wanted to bring up that we were talking about we were talking about gas we were talking about insurance oh touring because it is technically a touring bike this bike doesn't have luggage but it is very very easy to get luggage for this bike um aftermarket or regular uh stuff from kawasaki is going to be super expensive it's going to look the nicest and it might be the best but it is going to be freaking expensive they want like like 500 dollars just for the luggage that's not even including the luggage racks to put said luggage on uh which is why i don't have any luggage on this bike because i'm poor but you know that's kind of my own problem but you know as far as commuting goes hey that's perfect you can put your helmet in there you can put your uh your jacket you can just put some of your gear in so you're not lugging your gear around all you know all around work or whatever and you can bring extra stuff if you got to bring a lunch or whatever what, you know whatever you got to bring to work or whatever bam ninja 650 touring bike it got bags all that fun stuff uh and it's uh yeah just a great just a great motorcycle in general i mean i absolutely love it you know are we still recording uh yeah so that's pretty much all my opinions on why the bike is such a great commuter bike you know to hurry up and recap it's light it's easy to maneuver it's good on gas it's cheap on insurance um you can put luggage on it it's got enough power to get you going on interstates and highways but not too much power where you can't ride it in small traffic or uh, light trap slow traffic situations and all that fun stuff and it's you know just a great looking motorcycle and of course you get the well, you know kawasaki reliability that follows suit with that so yeah that's all i got to say about that one if you guys enjoyed the content don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any other ideas or things that you would want me to discuss let me know in the comments and i will do my best to make all that stuff happen for you so take care and i will see you in the next one